then I'm gonna go over to, hello Basil. How are you doing? I would like to water those plants. Please, please, please. <gasps> no, they don't do anything. <laughs> oh, why'd you do that to us? These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. We can always count on her to help me stay positive. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. These are a type of flower called the gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who's honest, with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. And finally, a Mori's flower. And these, these are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small, not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it another way, I guess I'd say that they're comfortable, simple, modest, and perfect. Just like Archie. <gasps> That's different. That is different. You didn't say that last time. I'm gonna have a picnic with Mari if I have the chance. Please say I have the chance. Nope. It's just a continuous, and it's getting brighter and brighter, and now the trees are dying, and we are not having anything. Oh boy, this is fun. Oh, and there are the bloody footprints. It's always the bloody footprints. And also, this water was not red the last time I was here. What the heck, Basil? You really let this place go. Uh, oh, Mori? I'm scared. Let's... Let's go back. No. I'm sorry, Aubrey. We can't. Hello, Basil. And hello, that random spot on the floor? Oh, okay. You're just gonna go. It's a long way down. Do you wanna jump? Guess there's only one answer for this. Where is it going to take me? Okay, see a beach. Got some grass. Can cut through these cobwebs now because I'm not afraid of spoders. And now stairs. It's going through all my fears. Okay. Now we're in a giant staircase. <gasps> Mari! In a crystalline casket. And the curtains. Oh, come on. <laughs> that wasn't fair. Come on. <laughs> I was just trying to pay respects to my sister. <gasps> Why you have to be like that? A black door casts a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? Well, time to go into black space. I wonder if it's going to look exactly like white space, but just flipped. That'd be kind of interesting. Welcome to black space. I'm glad to be here, I guess. <gasps> the keys! <laughs> okay. Instead of being here for as long as I remember, I'm just here for like two seconds. Oh. So many doors. At least it's an actual proper light. Oh, nope. No light bulb here. It's just a string. A loose wire. 
No light bulb. <gasps> oh, maybe that's interesting. Okay, because like the light bulb suppresses something. But does that mean in the absence of a light bulb? Like the light bulb is supposed to contain the idea, contain like whatever it is. And that would be why it's black, because it's containing the, like, darkness. But because this place has no light bulb, maybe Basil never had a light bulb. And that's why the darkness spread. I've got so many doors. We'll go here first. I'll just work my way around. Cattails. Is that a dead whale? Stranger, these rooms are full of broken things, but at least in here I can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one, did you make it to protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it's become more powerful than you. Yeah, that is just straight up, like, it's almost melting, Jesus. So much pain. So much pain. Another key. Uh, I guess I'll just head back. Wait a minute. The door's missing. Oh, but the hand takes me back. Yay. And I think the door disappeared as well. Well, that'll make it easier to keep track. Ooh. Cubes. I like cubes. E. <laughs> oh, I should probably talk to you, shouldn't I? Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth that you've locked away. You must find it no matter what. You have to, for the both of us. Okay. I'll try my best. Also, it kind of looked like there were eyes there for a second. <gasps> He's there, following me, in the darkness. You may not be in control now, but do not lose hope, Dreamer. There are some who still believe in you. You're just right, I can tell. It's just like every so often you can see the eyes. Oh, that's weird, okay. Oh, there are multiple. They're walking all over the place. That's what I was running into. Are you? Are you lost? Don't worry. The red hands know the way back. Yeah, they do, don't they? Oh my god. Such a zigzag. Ooh, boy. Hello, people. Tall people. Wait, where's the stranger? You're not gonna talk to me here? Okay. I, I guess I can deal with that. Oh! Your sketchbook. Take a look inside? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Looks good. Nothing worrisome so far. Eyeball cake is the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stranger. Just lurking in the darkness. Uh, do, do do Yep. That's just a piece of meat. Nothing to see there. And oh, look at that. Look at us being... Oh, hello. You're a new picture. I like that. Well, let's go in this door. Hello. Okay. This looks to be our neighborhood, maybe. I see you. Don't pretend. When you hid the truth, you sealed a part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. Which one do you think was more painful? I swear I didn't mean to, Basil. Like, I had no control over this. I'm just a player. I would have kept you around if I could. I bet you'd make an interesting party member. What? Oh, I do not like that. I don't like that either. Liar. I I'm telling the truth. Those are horrible sounds. Okay, we're at least making some progress through here, I guess. I see the eyes in the background. 
Please say we're getting to a key soon. Uh, hello. Archie, I love you. I, you're just part of my party now? Uh, please, Archie, I love you. Okay. You, you can love me from a distance. I, I would appreciate that. Please don't say you're going to continue following me. Oh, thank God. Having that thing around would just not be good. Mebo has been very, very bad. You got a key. Mebo stares at you. She does not know what is happening. Do you want to cut open Mebo? I do not. That's kind of like one of the things that you need to watch out for is animal cruelty. Um... Uh... Uh, okay. Mio stares at you. She tilts her head out of curiosity. Mm hmm. Her eyes widen. She wants to go now. I would imagine so. She struggles to break free. Uh, her eyes are filled with desperation. <laughs> she tries to scream, but there's no sound. Why are you doing this to me? Does not know what is happening. I would imagine so. Well, you cut open Miwo. Wow. I bet I did. Waiting for something to happen. Why do you? Why are you like this? I am. If you want a way out, there's always one. Ah. <laughs> I probably could have done that the whole time, couldn't I? I didn't need to cut open the cat. I didn't need to do that at all, did I? Ugh. You know, sometimes this game, this game. <sighs> I need to be more diligent. Flower crab. Oh. What am I supposed to do here? Um, this way? <gasps> Basil! Mori, you came back for me. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Here, take it. Thank you. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Yes, please. And please don't turn out to be, like, creepy. Growing watermelons here has been fun, but I really miss my flowers back at home. How are they doing? Did you take care of them while I was gone? <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I did. Watermelons sure are delicious. We used to cut them up and eat them all the time at the beach. I can still see Kel with those watermelon seeds all over his face. <laughs> Summer vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? it? It definitely was. It definitely was. We've also gotten, like, quite a ways in. Oh, no. Now it's getting darker. I don't like that. I know there's a watermelon up here. Oh, now they're just all over. This is actually my first time playing through it. I tried to... <gasps> oh, God. And that's where the key is. Cool. Oh, God. What? The heck? Hey. Our friends who have suffered because of us, can we still call them friends? No matter how much I've wanted, things can't go back to the way they were before. Oh, I know that feeling. It's my every waking moment, apparently. But why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Archie? I'd really hope so, especially because I see photos. Or maybe I don't see photos. Okay. Not like I've wanted to have memories of my precious moments with loved ones. You know? Like, what am I supposed to- oh, I'm supposed to swim. That would make sense. Oh, there's the key. Okay. It's a fake real thing. Oh. 
God, I am not going in that one. No, I have other doors to unlock first. I'll get to you later, red door. Oh, this looks interesting. Hello, Basil. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Amori. Am I gonna get to see you die in a horrible way again? I, I certainly hope not. I thought I was gonna be stuck here forever. I, I really don't want to cut because... Oh, thank God. Oh, I feel so much better. I can't believe you came here to save me. I missed you so much. Now that you're here, I can finally go home. Lead the way, Amori. Mm-hmm. Please don't, um... You know, have something horrible happen to you. You know, I think spiders are really misunderstood. They might look kind of scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. Not to mention, they're also one of my biggest helpers when I'm gardening, since they eat a lot of pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. I see you um, glitching out there a little bit, buddy. I remember a while back, you told me that a big spider fell on your shoulder just as you're about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. I know that the spider must have looked so scary to you, but I promise that you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. No offense, of course. <laughs> uh-huh. There's so many spiders here all of a sudden. I can feel them crawling all over me. That's what those are? Maybe they're just saying hello? Hi, spiders. It's me, your friend Basil. Oh god, they're like all over his hair. Uh, they're biting me. Oh. I'm probably just scaring them. They're there, spiders. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. I think they are not scared. They're probably hungry. There are some spiders that are very, very douchey. Oh god. He's just completely covered. There's so many of them. I can't get them off. Uh, Omori. Omori. Please, help! And now he's just gone. Okay. Baby spiders grieve their mother's death. Do they? I feel like they more so eat them a lot of times. They eat their moms. It's like that rainy place. I forget what it's called. Hello, stranger. I miss you, Archie. You were always someone I could depend on to listen. My problems, my hopes, my dreams, you knew them all. Oh, but this is actually kind of sad, your friend becoming a stranger. Because that happens a lot when you grow distant. And that's like the basic theme of this game, is growing distant, things changing, people changing. Sometimes from alive to dead, but anyway. So if you're still there, Please let my words reach you one more time. Oh god. Basil. Basil, get back here. Get back here, Basil. Wait, what? Did he have a face? I couldn't see. That's bed. That's a bird, question mark? Hopscotch! One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> the treehouse. Okay. Ah! Uh, Omori! Is it really you? How did you find me? Are Kel, Aubrey, and Hero here too? I missed you all so much. Yeah, that's the third time I've heard you say that. Please don't jump. I'm glad the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it together. Let's go home, Mori. Guess we'll just head down. Oh, that's an elevator. Let's not take that, please. An elevator? I wonder where it leads to. Maybe it can take us back home. No, no, it very much can't. Trust me, it is a trap. Let's go to bed instead. You took a nice nap. Good, 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 good. <sighs> okay. Well, there's the key, and where do you want to go? Um, 
You know what? Just for giggles, let's go to... Uh, well, I know Vast Forest is where we're supposed to go. But let's go to the Sprout Mole Village. I want to show them the art that we made. Hmm. That's not a sound I like. Uh, actually, while we're in here, can I share something with you? It's spiders! Uh, okay, well, I guess... Oh, no, we're just... At... Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I've seen Final Destination. I don't like this. Oh, hold on, Amori. I, I think I'm stuck. Could you help me out? I, I could, but... <laughs> yep, there it is. Ooh, this looks fun. Hello, stranger. Back then, I wanted to save what was left. But even after everything, you left me, Archie. I waited so long for you to come back. Even seeing you now, it's hard to think straight. I can feel my heart hurting and I want to cover my face and hide. There's so many things I want to say to you, but the words won't come out. I just... I waited so long for you to come back, Archie, but you never did. I really, really hope that- oh, the- the fishbowl broke? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we have five doors left before the red one. Let's find out where they lead. <gasps> Our stump! Is something gonna come out? Basil! Hello! You gonna die on us again? Omori! Psst! Omori! I'm right here. Wait a minute. No, I've seen it. Oh, okay, you, you crawled out. Ta-da! Surprised to see me. I've been hiding out in the stump since I got here. I'm not the best at defending myself, but I think I'm pretty good at surviving at least. Anyway, I knew you'd come save me, Amori, and I'm sure we'll be able to make it out of this place now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Hey, Amori, you're acting kind of cold. Did I do something wrong? No, I'm just trying to get us to safety. Haha, -ha, yeah, safety, being friends, you know? Like that. Oh, now we're just floating down a river. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. Oh, Mori, I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. But at least we have each other. <laughs> Actually, there's something that's been really bothering me. Uh, what did that say? What did that say? Does it say, can I tell you about it? Oh, come on. First the head gets chopped off, now the body. Oh, come on. Basil, why are you like this? This is all Basil's fault. Getting his head chopped off. Four more doors. That should be it. And please, for the love of God, let's not have anyone die this time. I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, okay. See, there we go. Key, and now we're out of here, right? Right? Hand. Yeah, there we go. That is so much better for some reason. I don't know why those of all the rooms is like the one I'm the most okay with. Oh, now we got an alarm going off. Uh, here's a key. Oh, wait, no! The video games! Come on! Oh, now... Wait, is that Kel... No, Mari's here. Mari's here, too. Mari is everywhere. It seems. Oh, and there's Basil. And Kel? Yep. There's the key. Aubrey's here. Cool. Okay. Last door. Last room. Let's do this. 
I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I'm not prepared. I'm no longer prepared. Hi, Basil? Question mark. Oh, Mori, you're here. Oh, I'm so relieved. I tried finding a way out, but I kept getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should have tried harder. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. Yep. That's like the fourth or fifth time you've said that. The whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I would look at all of our happy memories together. It really helped keep my hopes up. I feel like there's some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kell, and Hero, anyway? I hope you all didn't worry too much about me. I can't wait to see everyone again. Oh. Oh, hello. Hero? Is that you? Amori, oh, look, it's Hero! You didn't tell me everyone was already here. I'm guessing that's because they're actually not. That's just a whole chicken. Oh, and there's the glitches. You're... And there's the hands. Oh, a bridge of them. What the heck? Oh. I don't like this. And there's the cat. <laughs> okay. Kel, Aubrey, it's so good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you miss me? <laughs> Wait, what? What are you guys doing? Oh no. Ow. Oh, Lori. Oh, God. I don't like this. Man, Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You'd think they'd get tired of it after a while, but they're both just so full of energy. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, I'm going to leave now before you attack me as well. <sighs> okay. I think that's it. Just one left. Alrighty. What you got for us, Red Door? Oh. A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it's judging you. Oh, more hands. We love us some hands. Mari's picnic basket. Would I like to save? Would I? Got a key. Eh. I don't like those sounds. Why do I keep doing it then? The church. Oh. Oh boy. Pitter patter, pit patter. Well, in that case. Hello there, Basil. I'm guessing you're the correct one, because my god, you do not look good. Oh. But there's also the stranger. Archie. The truth is here. You've been running from this for so long. But this time we can face it together. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Basil? Archie, why did it end up like this? Archie, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Do you want to save Basil? Of course! Of course I want to save Basil. What the heck? What kind of question is that? That's what the entire plot of this game is. Just please let me, is the thing. What happened? There's something out there. It's calling me. And it's calling you too. Let's go together.
Basil, I'm gonna be honest. You're kind of freaking me out here. Okay, never mind. That's freaking me out more. Um, Basil? Okay, what's the red thing? We've been to black space, we've been to white space, now I guess it's time to go to red space. These are some long drag marks, Jesus. For not being able to defend himself, Basil is putting up a fight. I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Okay, you're getting squeezed by the hands. Please, it hurts. Tell them to let go. Wait, what are you doing? Tell them to stop. I, please tell them to stop. Help me! Did I just... What? Why? Why? Amori, you jerk! Ow! Holy crap! Did I just get the bad ending? Or was that a fake basil? Like, what? Oh god, all these hands. So many hands. Oh my god. And there's Amori. Just being himself. Hello. You're staring at me now. I don't like that. There's the gulp. Oh, you're just sitting on a hand throne. Cool. And then it was all just a dream, right? It's just a dream? Come on. Oh, thank God. Okay. Wait. No. No, thank God. What's going on here? Um, does anyone else hear piano music? Can anyone else in this household right now play piano? Um, well, Kel is, <gasps> but Hero's missing. Nope, it's just Mari's ghost, okay. But then where's Hero? Hello? You know, waltzes were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano. All that practicing. Playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play it at that last recital. Did you want to play it with me now? <gasps> Whoa, you scared me there, Archie. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me too. I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. Oh no. Oh no. Dang, really? Man. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. What are you going to do in the meantime? Oh, Mari. I'm guessing I need to give him some space. You weren't here before. 
yeah. That door wasn't here before. That door was not here before. Wait, what? Can I go out to the... I could have gone out to the... Maybe I couldn't have gone out to the uh, treehouse this entire time. But okay, good to know. All right. Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? I would. One day left. Oh, man. Then I wake up and tackle the day. Well, what's this last message that my mom has for us? Hey, Archie, it's Mommy. Tomorrow's the big day. The movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the keys, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. And our to-do list is gone? Did you take care of this while I was asleep? Good morning, Archie. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Jesus Christ, hero. Hope you don't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's already on his second plate. Really? But those were... Those were my chores. I needed to do them. I mean, I wasn't exactly trying very hard, but still. <laughs> Top of the morning, Archie. You better munch. Start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all for me? Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Munch, munch, munch. Who could that be? I'll go get the door. Yeah, I would very much like some of that bacon, please. Also, what about all these dishes? <laughs> it's you! Ew! What's all this? What the heck, Kel? Is that who I think it is? <gasps> oh. <laughs> huh? What's, what's going on over here? Dang it, Kel. I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? Grumble, grumble. I was just about to get to that. It's just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering her door, or her back door, or the rocks we've been throwing in her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't know it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today's our last chance to do this before Archie leaves. There's no way I can just let end like this. Exactly, hero. But I don't know if the game's gonna allow that at this point. We should at least try to talk to her. <sighs> well, me and Archie can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. Uh, she listens to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us for help. You're a good friend. Uh huh? Uh, sure, whatever. Mm. Grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Uh, okay then. See ya. She still has literal egg on her face. I think we are good to go. Oh wow, the the entire gang is here. Don't look so down, Kim. Everyone has bad days. You know Aubrey always bounces back. What about you, the Maverick? Aubrey isn't feeling well. How could this be? This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. Hoo-hoo. 
Let's track him down at once. Are we supposed to watch the new dance I made up today? Do you think she's avoiding me on purpose? Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is anyone home? Hello? <gasps> oh! It looks like the door was open. Oh, God, no. God, no, I'm getting Doki Doki Literature Club flashbacks. No, no. Let's go inside. Mm-hmm. Please let it... Okay, it's just... Very dirty. Holy crap, this is... A lot. And I can't even... Who are you? Aubrey's mom. Just watching TV? Okay. I guess we'll just... To head in then excuse us i'm guessing you are up the ladder this is an attic room <gasps> oh my god there she is and she has a pet rabbit hey aubrey how are you feeling <laughs> what the heck are you guys doing here get the hell out of my room we're sorry for intruding it'll only take a bit we just want to make sure you are okay <laughs> fine been hearing some things, but I just want to hear from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake! You know he can't swim! I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned! I said it was an accident! Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around blowing Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You... You and Basil and everyone here, you're my best friends. Alright, alright. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. They're... they're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. It must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Archie has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Archie... <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing? Uh, yes. <laughs> That's kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Marnie's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. See, like this is the sentimental stuff I was hoping for. And hopefully it patches things up. Here we go. All four of us. Though Basil should technically be here. Come on, guys. We should do this together. A trip down memory lane. Wait a minute. What? What's this one? Oh, God. There's so many. There's so many with Mari. Okay, um... Oh, no, it just like, outlines them for me. Uh, and it's got her theme playing in the background, too. Oh. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go through all these and get all sappy and sentimental. Why does this game have to do this to me? Last photo. We did it! Wanna look through the photo album? Of course I do! Now that we have everything, 
First photo, my best friend Archie trying out his new violin. Starting to take lessons again so I can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. My 12th birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with the strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. The year is looking to be a good year. Oh, mm, mm, She's hanging on to Hero's arm. Another group photo. It was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari brought me, or bought me this photo album, and everyone else bought me film for my camera. Ah, they coordinated everything. Mari and Hero fell asleep on the couch. Oh man, if this is affecting me just like with them being video game characters, I can only imagine how Hero feels. And all of them, like, uh. They look so cozy together, don't they? Uh, with her head nuzzle. Hmm. I hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Oh, is this a forbidden love sort of situation? Here and Mari washing dishes for breakfast. We're staying over with Mari and Archie this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari at our secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture with everyone. Say cheese. <laughs> Archie, just in the back, sulking. Oh, the so And look at that. Look at Aubrey and Kel. They look like such good friends. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. Ahem, thanks a lot, Hector. I'll have to cover it up with tape later. Aw, I caught Mari carrying Archie on the way home from school today. <gasps> he must have fallen asleep on the bus. Aw, I thought it was so cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once-in-a-lifetime photo. Aw. Uh, sometimes I wish I had a sibling. So many feels. Uh, <laughs> just the, the complete emotional whiplash. I started out completely scared, and now I'm just enraptured, and just... Either way, my heart hurty. <gasps> Mari says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun, since I get sunburned really easily. Uh, same. Hmm, not sure what Kel's doing here, but he's probably having a good time. <laughs> sure is. Spread eagle. <gasps> Aww! Hira sleeping on Mari. He gets all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. Or just have a giant, like, face print on her stomach. That'd be kind of awkward. Weird to explain to the family. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hira. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. Oh. Mari says this beetle is a giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Hero's too grossed out to look. Yeah, he doesn't like bugs. I like the uh, little leaves in her hair and stuff. All of us hang out in our brand new tree house. Looks like Archie is finally bringing the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation's almost over. <gasps> and look, there's a giant watermelon. I hope we get to use this tree house next summer. <gasps> it's the first day of school today. Me, Archie, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey's so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. But also... Archie giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. She's in high school. Me and Archie have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Aww. <laughs> and Ugh! With the, with the button down in the co- Oh. Mari practicing her part for a big recital next month. We're all going to go watch. It's going to be Mari's and Archie's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We'll all be showing our support from the audience. Mari getting a little camera shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari, just keep going. No one will even notice. After some begging, Archie came to join Mari for recital practice. <laughs> They're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mari. Go, Archie. You can do it. And that's it. <sighs> there. Now everything's back where it should be. Looks like one photo's still missing. 
But at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? We really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. Sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. Alright, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, Hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. Uh, I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get out of this house. <laughs> okay. And she's at my party now too! Oh god, like, ugh. I legitimately started tearing up there. Holy crap, just a second. Ugh. Oh boy. Okay, I think I'm good now. It's that sort of stuff that just hits you, you know? We got Kimberly! Yo, Aubrey! Are you okay? Hey, Kim. I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys! Guys! Aubrey's here! Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved a taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. It's no biggie. We're just glad you're alright. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey! Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park! I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. Well, I'll hang out tomorrow, I promise. Aw, okay. We'll see you later then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. But, I do wonder if there is the potential to go see some other people. Because there's also this guy- <gasps> Are these balloons for a certain housewarming party? Oh, hello! I remember you. You're the boy who chose the wallpaper for our house. Yeah, I am! I see you brought your friends. If you're here for the party, I'm sorry. It's still a little bit early. Oh, shoot. That's our bad. We'll just come back later. Hmm? Uh, do you guys smell that? It smells like something's burning. <gasps> Sorry, one second! Uh, actually, um... You guys wouldn't happen to know how to cook, would you? I might need a little help with dinner. <laughs> you need help cooking? Well, today is your lucky day! My brother Hero is an amazing cook. He'll definitely be able to cook something right up. <laughs> uh, huh? I, I will? Oh, thank you! Please, come inside. This is the first we got to see it. And look at that. Wallpaper looks really nice. Uh, but I also want to save first. <gasps> oh! Wait, why is there... What is going on? Um, Hero? Y you good there? What's wrong, Hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. <gasps> That's what's on top of the trophy. Okay. Don't worry, Hero, I got you. Where's that pesky little... Aha! I got you now. Swoop. And he just squished it in his hands. It's alright now, Hero. You can take it easy. Spider's gone. Show it to me. <laughs> huh? Did you say something, Hero? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look, see? It's really dead. I'm going to flush it down the toilet now, okay? Do you just squish it in his hands or what? Wow, that's a very okay, there's there's the flush. And a back! But the spider's gone. It's like magic. And then he just pops back to normal. Yep. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hero, 
I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. What if a spider shows up and I'm not here? Y you really think that could happen? Man, hero. This is one of those rare times where I feel like the big brother. Or where I feel like the big brother. I should have put different emphasis on that. But we can play video games together. Aww. Wait, shouldn't we be helping somebody cook right now? Oh my god, this feels like... Oh. Okay, so seeing them all together in headspace was one thing, but seeing them out in, like, the real world and everything, like... Ugh. It feels so good, having them all together. Especially after the whole, like... Them being at odds with each other and, like, not talking forever. Wow. What smells so delicious in here? Oh, hello, Sean. Our new friends were just helping me prepare dinner for tonight's party. Well, looks like you guys are doing a great job. I'm done setting up outside, so let me help too. <gasps> Yay! Now all of us can cook together. Oh, and that is so good. Oh, wow. Just an entire roast chicken. Whew, all done. With your help, this party's going to be a great success. Thank you for all your help again. You're all such genuinely nice people. Anytime. Thanks for trusting us with your kitchen. We really enjoyed cooking with you guys. <laughs> yeah, this was really fun. Can't wait to eat everything at the party tonight. We'll be waiting for you. Take care of yourselves. Can I go into the back? Should I go into the back? I feel like this is something I should be doing with Basil, but... Spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. That's not good. The grave could use some flowers. Do you want to leave flowers at this grave? I do, and I have some. Hey, Mari. It's me again. Archie, Kel, and Hero are with me this time. Do you visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah. I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes, too, don't you? Every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Though Basil should be as well. Hey, Mari. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just... Really sorry... Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, don't worry about me too much, okay? Here. This is for you, Mari. From all of us. Is that a lily? Do you want to have a picnic with Mari? <gasps> oh... Mmm. Mmm. Holy crap. Okay. Wow. That one. That one did it. This. <laughs> god. Oh my god. I'm gonna wait for Basil. I am going to wait for Basil. That's the right thing to do. <laughs> it's really those little things, you know? It's those little things that have the biggest impact. Ow. Ow, my heart. Let's talk to some other people first. When Baby told me about her crush, I had to see him for myself. So far, he's a no-show. But Baby told me that we're looking for someone with an obviously fake blonde wig. <gasps> she has a crush on the Maverick. <sighs> Baby has pretty bad taste in guys. <laughs> Large metal cat. You remember being a lot bigger. <gasps> I could be on the swings. I love the swings. Hey, Archie. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we... Will really ever get over Mari's death, but it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion, and to have patience. Anyway, 
I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. <gasps> I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but I think you're looking a little pale and kind of thin too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? Oh my god! You did stab her with a knife. I, true, but apparently that's all in the past. Like, oh my god. This. I should rename this stream instead of Dawn of the Final Day. I should just rename it to Emotional Whiplash because that is all I am feeling right now. Grumble, grumble. Hey, it's you kids again. How's your day been? My day's been horrible. Guess what? The pipe is broken again. And somehow, I've done irreversible damage to my house. How did I know this was gonna happen? <sighs> such a failure. I just... just want to make him proud. Ugh, I gotta pull myself together. It's just one little measly pipe I can get through this. I got my new tools ready. I'm gonna try one more time. Just gotta keep my head up. Yes, I can do this. I'm coming for you, Leek. I'm gonna get rid of you once and for all. Yeah! <laughs> I'm rooting for you. I will definitely be there to help out. This guitar guy's donation box. Can I... Do, do, do. Dad never really proved me being a musician, but my little sister Joy kept insisting that I should go for it. She would say, say things like, Dad will get over eventually and whatnot. <laughs> Look at me, taking advice from my little sister. Am I supposed to be the one giving her advice? Will you help me reach my goal? I will. I want to see it happen. I'll donate 10 more dollars. I've donated 35. Whoa, thank you for everything. But that last donation looks like I'll finally be able to leave town. I don't think I have much to pack, so I'll probably be leaving pretty soon. I should say goodbye to everyone, but I don't even know how I'm going to break it to my dad. I'll probably let my little sister Joy know first. We do want to go to Other Mart and buy some stuff. Oh, hello, guy. Messy hair man. I love bananas so much, I could stare at them all day. Just a bit underripe. Uh, you know, this guy seems to like bananas, but I just don't see the appeal. <gasps> Got him. <laughs> I I wouldn't blame you if you decided to stop following me. Oh, hello. Hold on a sec, I want to buy a drink. No, no, not this one. What? You're buying a soda, but you're passing on good old Orange Joe? How could you? Ew, you still drink Orange Joe? It's so grossly sweet. Because it's made for babies. Oh yeah? If it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per can? Do your research, Aubrey. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. You're probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend, Orange Joe? When was the last time you even tried it? Ugh, I'll show you. Kel? What are you doing? Hey, this can's design is from like five years ago, and it's expired. I told you, no one buys this stuff. <laughs> Worry not, my dear friend, Orange Joe. No matter what, I'll still drink you. Oh, God. Mmm, delicious. You're gross. <laughs> and, and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you later. Well then. I think it was this house? This looks right. Yeah, there he is. Hey kids, I have a favor to ask. Can you drop this lunchbox off? the boy with the guitar. <gasps> oh, he's gonna pack him a lunch. That's so nice. Thanks, I appreciate it. Let's do this. Gave the lunchbox. Huh? What's this? This this is Dad's mac and cheese. He hasn't made this for me since I was a kid. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back one day and make you proud. I promise. Ah, sorry, I got a little dramatic there. Actually, I have written a letter for my dad, but I'm too chicken to give it to him myself. Can you deliver it for me? That's what I am. I'm the town's errand boy. I see you have a formal one. You gave the lunchbox away. Well, did he like it? This, this ring's from his son. 
Oh, been so hard on him these past few years. I... Him. Thanks for delivering this for me. I, I hope to see him again one day. Maybe even on TV. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think there's anything else to do. <gasps> Wait, no, I have to go check on the pipe guy. <sighs> hey, it's you guys again. Did you all come because you were worried about me? It's so thoughtful of you. Come in, I think I really have it this time. I feel it in my soul. Let's do this. That pipe is as good as... Oh, right. <laughs> the hole. I forgot about that. Okay, tape. It's gotta be fixed now. It's gotta. <gasps> but Aubrey's here. Here, I got this. The handy woman. Let's do this. Is she just gonna bash it with her... Nope. Oh, but she does have a bucket. <gasps> that would actually make sense. She kind of lived in some roughshod conditions herself, so... Oh? <laughs> I can't believe it. It's fixed. It's really fixed. I'm so happy I could cry. You're amazing. Beyond amazing. Phenomenal, even. How can I ever repay you? It's... Uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Everyone, thanks for being here for me through this hard time. In return, please take this CD. I found it in a hole in the wall. I got a ghoulish CD. You know, I have a son, Dara, of just about your age. Their names are Vance and Kim. Their mother and I separated when Kim was just a baby. I don't see him as often as I'd like, so I make sure to spoil them with candy when I do. <laughs> Oh, you're Kim and Vance's dad? Sure am. Proud of it. Even if they're always getting into trouble. At least they take care of each other. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Anyway, I think it's about time that I enjoy some drip-free rest and relaxation. Thanks again, guys. You're always welcome here. And then there's one last thing to do, and that's check on Basil. Alright, Basil. Let's do this. Hopefully you're not dead in real life, too. Hey, Polly. How's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. <gasps> what? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil's in the hospital visiting Grandma. His Grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah, sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. Guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. <laughs> sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later when it cools down, we can all go to the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that! Especially since Aubrey's with us now, too. Our old treehouse, huh? Haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Archie? What do you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah! You should decide how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Lead the way, Archie. Uh... I already did everything, um, hmm, so yeah, I guess the only thing left to do is go see the treehouse. Uh, everything's so empty. This is Aubrey's first time back, too. Wow, I guess you really are moving away, huh, Archie? I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. 
There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years, and painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here, so that we can face this together. It's okay, Hero. I'll go first. Look at that. Kel being a big brother for his big brother. Hey, Archie, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could- Aubrey! Archie! Are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. No! What was she gonna say? I probably would have said yes. The stump. Is this supposed to be- <gasps> Is the treehouse supposed to be the stump where, like, the old room is? In the headspace? This is where Mari... Yeah, it is. It feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with Mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Archie's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening, After all this time, I, I still don't understand why she would do it. I, I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's, let's keep going. They chopped it down. <sighs> uh, yeah, we need to go to the treehouse. I wonder what it looks like inside. Oh. Looks very dingy. Which I guess would make sense. <gasps> but it looks exa- Yep, I knew it. I knew it was gonna have the same layout. Wow, this place has seen better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. That was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plant Egg. You're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Ah, I think I just stepped on Jack. Oh man, such good times. Mm. Why did we have a toaster in here? To make toast, obviously. Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. A baseball bat. Mari used to play softball but quit when she injured her knee. The photo! The last remaining photo. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Hello? You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look! Archie found a photo of us! We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it! Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Archie. We should add it in. Oh, there it is. Basil's memories. There. Now the photo album's complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album's already out, so we might as well. Right, Archie? Let's start from the beginning. Yes. But we already read all these, so we are just going to skip forward a little bit. Okay, there we go. Read. 
Ta-da! All summer we've been working on Treehouse in Archie's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Here on his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. And that's it. Are you done looking at the photo album? I am. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on guys, why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. <sighs> Flo and Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Well then. Oh. She put her pinwheel there. You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I've realized that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Archie and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me. And abandoned Mari, too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Archie stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first. But after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him. But he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil blacked out all the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He'd even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together, it felt like he'd destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Archie. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kill Kel. No, God, that's a slip of the tongue. You were still pretty young then, Kel. But I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now. So it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you're talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's all right, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be there for each other. Hey, you know what? 
I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Aw, oh, yeah, count me in. Wait just one second. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> push, push, push. Bam. Aww. She's not ready. She's so not ready. We should go see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him. And I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. <laughs> 